The main challenge that we face is coping with all the differences between humans, how we can use that behavior to create a synergy between the machine and the human. We are developing solutions to promote recovery after spinal cord injury. We bring movement home for people with motor impairments through accessible and robotic devices. We engineer human-machine interaction and our first product is a powered exoskeleton that lets people stand up and walk again if they cannot stand anymore. Our biggest challenge is to convince the community that there are solutions. We are promoting recovery after spinal cord injury. This is possible. In fact, all of us will probably once in our lifetime go through rehabilitation of some sort, either from an accident or from, for example, a stroke. The impact that you can have on people's life in this space is tremendous. We are using neurostimulation to awake the dormant circuits in the spinal cord below the lesion sites, and that's enough to resolve functions, even without stimulation after some time in training. So what we have achieved is that we have created almost like a 3D printing manufacturing technique, um, but it is much higher performance. So we can have the performance of carbon fiber with long fibers that create structures that are um, three-dimensional. To break the wall of the impossible, we need some support, bigger scale funding for bigger scale ambitions. We hope that we can help, for example, anyone who has a disability to not have limitations uh, in their lives. We aim that when people get a spinal cord injury, there is hope and there are solutions for them wherever they are.